I think we really now have a unique opportunity to uh, strengthen uh, our transatlantic bond, uh, to uh, open a new chapter in the relationship, uh, relationship between North America uh, uh, and Europe. The main reason I'm, uh, I'm here uh, and that President Biden uh, asked, uh, asked us to be here this week is to reaffirm strongly the United States commitment to, uh, to NATO, to this alliance, and to our partnerships. We're determined to revitalize uh, our alliances, to revitalize our partnerships, starting with NATO. NATO is really not defined by, by what we're against, but by what we're for. Uh, that's what's bringing us uh, all together. When we look at virtually all of the challenges that we face as a country and that are actually going to potentially affect the lives of our citizens, not a single one of them can be effectively dealt with by any one country acting alone. We need uh, Europe and North America uh, together. How will NATO and the US continue to address the challenges posed by Russia, Russia and uh, a rising China. So the main thing is that as long as we stand together, we can deal with both the rising China and uh, uh, assertive uh, and aggressive Russia. That's exactly the reason why we have NATO. NATO allies strongly welcome and support the US efforts to, to try to uh, uh, reinvigorate uh, the peace talks uh, because uh, uh, a political solution, a negotiated solution, is the only uh, sustainable, viable path to a lasting peace in Afghanistan and the only way, in, uh, in a lasting way, to, to prevent Afghanistan from once again becoming a safe haven for international terrorists. We've said, we've made a commitment, uh, in together, adapt together, and when the time is right, uh, out together, that remains the guiding principle.